So I haven't done a lot of work in, on Roma communities in Spain. Um, I have uh, had the opportunity of reading some of the materials on Spain and talking to colleagues, and my sense is that Spain is um, a leader in this area, that Spain has done very good work on Roma social inclusion compared to other European countries. Um, so I think that even though I'm, there are, of course, problems in the Roma community, there are problems of great poverty and exclusion and discrimination. Um, I think some of the precedents from the Spanish situation are really admirable and should be re replicated elsewhere. I think Spain has been much more inclusive. Spain has really considered Roma as Spanish, which is not the case in many, many other countries. Romania, of course, where there is the largest number of Roma in Europe, uh, wants to prevent Roma from even calling themselves Roma because they don't want their country's name to be associated with that community, which is deplorable. So I think that um, some of the positive examples of really reaching out to the Roma community, enhancing access to education, enhancing access to housing and to social and economic uh, rights are very positive. That said, of course, there's always room for improvement. I mean, the Roma still um, are very underrepresented in the employment market. I gather that only 30% of Roma are salaried employees compared to 80% of non-Roma Spanish. So that's a big difference and not a good difference. It means that you know, a much larger, larger percentage of the Roma community don't have access to social benefits and health benefits and so on. Um, so I think there's room for more targeting and for more inclusion, but overall I would say that Roma um, conditions in Spain show that the Spanish government and the Spanish community, the NGOs and the government working together, have developed some very progressive and positive policies which should be replicated elsewhere.